Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House. With me, your host, Khadija. Let me give a shout out to all my family, listeners, subscribers. Um, thank you for being uh, supportive. Thank you for being out there. Yeah, I see you see the smoke coming out of my ears because I'm mad as hell. And I know I can't cuss. And I know I can't um, say too many things that demonetize my video. So um, uh, 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 let me try to use as much tact as I possibly can. But at some point, you know, you just kind of lose it. And you kind of, you know, it's just like what we used to say in church. <laughs> Sometimes you have to lose your professionalism. And you begin to praise God for who he really is. Okay, sometimes you have to use your profession, lose your professionalism and talk about these devils just as you see them. You cannot bite your tongue because ain't no more space left in on your tongue to be bit. What I'm saying is, I got to calm myself down and I want to share this story with y'all. It was written by with Becky Sullivan, I guess, and Vanessa Romo. All right. Um. Officer who fatally shot Dante Wright with accidental discharge. Y'all, you know, y'all believe that? You believe this fool don't know the difference between a taser and a damn nine millimeter Glock? How freaking stupid do y'all think we are? This gaslighting, this projection, this mental illness. In terms of the structural body of America has got to come down. And it has to be replaced with a system of justice. That's first and foremost. We can no longer stand to be gaslit anymore. We don't want to hear no more lies about somebody made an accident or shot somebody in the back because he tripped. No more police lies. These people are crazy and they've been given the okay that it's okay to kill black and brown people. It's just what it is. It's written in the fiber, in the fabric of America. Because remember, we are three fifths of a human being. We're property. And somehow, some way, that mindset is continuing to be perpetuated. Pe perpetuated throughout this society in terms of how they respond to black and brown people. Don't nobody want to deal with that except black people and the young ones that's coming up and the white folk that always decided, the ones that, listen, I don't got to sit up here and try to draw a line. Y'all know who y'all are. Either you're for justice or you ain't. Because you got some black people that ain't for justice. Okay, so either you for justice or you not. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of it. I've had a brother killed by the police. This has got to stop. For what, whether they off duty, on duty, in duty, out duty, it don't matter. These people are going to have to start being held accountable. They're going to have to start getting sued. We're going to have to push our elected officials to change these laws where police officers have got to start being held accountable for the murder. The murder that they perpetuate against black and brown bodies. Ain't no other way around it. Because you asking for the people to break back. You asking for us to bust back. That's all you doing. Ain't nobody going to keep on putting up with this. These are not law enforcement officers. And if they make a mistake, just like me, a citizen, they going to have to pay. There's going to be no more officer bill of rights. That shit got to go. No more police cannot be sued for practically killing people on purpose because that happens. 
They kill us on purpose. They get a kill in. They don't feel like they've done nothing unless they get a kill in. They don't feel like they real men. You know how you don't feel like you a real man until you bust that cherry? Uh, there's some men that don't feel real, especially white men, until they bust down on a black body. That's what it is. You got white women killing us. You got black men killing us. White men killing us. Yeah, you got black men killing us too. We are hunted. They make any damn excuse to blow our brains out and expect the majority of the citizens to agree with that. Y'all good with that? Y'all want to be picked off like uh, bugs? I am up to my ear with this bull crap. I'm up. I really am. The police officer said to have fatally shot Dante Wright, a 20-year-old black man. 20-year-old black man in what started as a traffic stop on Sunday has been identified as Kim Porter. Don't y'all forget that bitch. Kim Porter. The Minnesota Police Department and Safety Bureau uh, uh, leave a statement describe uh, uh, 20, uh, Porter as a 26-year-old veteran veteran of the Brooklyn Center, Minnesota Police Department. And she don't know how to, the, the difference of a taser and a gun. So you got your first black heel, huh? Or how many black heels do you got? How many black bodies you done put in a, a box? Because the bitch is now on leave. She's on leave. Okay. The department offered no other details about Porter's career, saying that further personnel data are not public <laughs> from the BCA under Minnesota law. However, a report from the Hennepin County uh, office dated uh, August 5th, 2020, indicates that at the time that Potter also served as Brooklyn Center Police Union president. Police officials call Wright's death and result of an accidental discharge of a gun by a police officer. Bitch, gotta go to go, gotta go to jail. You don't get to kill black people on accident. You get you kill them on purpose, you kill them on accident. Huh? That make that any better? Accidental discharge, my ass. The police officer um, uh, identified his poor and fired a single gunshot from a very close range as Rice tried to get back into his car to avoid arrest. Police body camera footage of the confrontation shows Wright wriggling away as the police officer uh, points at what she says is a taser at the man. But the officer fired, not electric bullets, uh, electric votes, but she fired a damn bullet as the officer's reaction to distress immediately after. And this was an accidental discharge that resulted in the tragic death of Mr. Wright. Uh-uh. No more. No more. No more. We losing and y'all win. No more. No more. Y'all got to start losing. Y'all got to start losing. This got to stop. These cops got to be held accountable. They have to be sued. The family has to sue. This has got to go. Oh, you asking for another alternative that I don't think nobody want to deal with. I'm over 60 years old. Y'all been shooting us down since I can fucking remember. Any life go on? Like ain't nothing happen? Wait for the next body? Black people, wake up. Can't you smell the extension in your nostrils? Can you smell it? The scent of extinction. Do it smell good to you? Because it don't to me.
The fatal encounter began just before 2 p.m. local time Sunday when Brooklyn Center police pulled over right after noticing his car had expired tags. He did over some damn expired tags. But the police discovered he had an outstanding warrant. But they won't tell what the or what the warrant. Oh, he had an out. Was it tickets? Huh? Don't try to make it buff it up. The video clip shows Monday began as the officer wearing a camera and arrived on the scene and the traffic stop was already underway. I'm just sick of it. I am sick of it. I ain't the only one. I'm not the only one. I got to calm down before I blow a gasket. Rest in peace. Dante, my condolences go out to his family, those who loved him, his friends, the community, the black race, that we lost another young man. By accident. Dante Wright was 20 years old, y'all. He had his whole life in front of him. And now he's dead. I'm angry. And you can call me the angry black if you want to. I have every right to be. Because I thought we'd be to change this stuff by now. When I was a little kid growing up and they... I saw when they when they killed Dr. King, when they killed Kennedy, killed Malcolm. I thought the world was getting better. Not because of their deaths. That made it there, but what the country was aspiring to after their deaths. We're going back. And y'all don't even understand it. Because if you do. You should be an outrage. Every single one of us. Are we going to be a nation of brothers? Irregardless of our color, nationality, creed. Or is we going to perish as fools? Because this, this right here, it's going to stop one way or the other. Watch. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.